What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and we've got to talk about what's going on in the stock market both today and tomorrow because there are huge things going down both for individual stocks and for the stock market as a whole, okay? There are some very important events going down and some very interesting things that might be happening over the next couple of days. So first off, we'll talk a little bit about Sundial. Sundial is moving up 18% today. It has its earnings call tomorrow. It's going to be very important for this, or sorry, it has its earnings call later today. It's going to be very important for this stock. It's already up 18%. We've seen some good stuff with it. So far, it's obviously been pushed down dramatically over the past couple of days, over the past couple of weeks, really. As the whole stock market has been tanking, it's been pushed down even more than the market, and hopefully we're going to get some respite tomorrow, but we're just going to see, or later today, right, when that earnings calls, but we're going to see about that. Now, for the market overall, we're doing some very interesting stuff, okay? You can see we've been moving down. We made lows two days ago, and now we're playing around the $400 level, okay? Very important level for the stock market for a couple of reasons. One, 400 is a very strong psychological level, right? It's a triple digit uh, number right there. And you can see that we actually, uh, about a year and a half ago, made a gap up at 400, okay? We gapped up at 400, and 90% of gaps end up getting filled, guys. And this gap, very fortunately, has now been filled. So we are excited to see that that gap is filled, that there's no longer this whole uh, situation looming over our heads where most of the time these gaps do end up getting filled. It just happened. There's not too much more to worry about on that front, but we do have some very important stuff going on tomorrow with Jerome Powell, okay? Jerome Powell is speaking tomorrow, and he is going to be talking about inflation, and uh, he is really going to be the determining factor regarding where the market goes, okay? He's going to have a big sway with markets. Now, there are two ways that I see this going, right? He could take it in one of two directions, and they're both very opposite directions, all right? He could either take the route of being kind to the market and pointing out that, hey, inflation is falling. It looks like a good situation. Obviously, year over year, inflation is falling. And month over month, it's falling in a pretty dramatic way, right? Down 75% month to month inflation-wise, all right? So he could take it that way. He could talk about that. And he could talk about how the Fed isn't going to be as harsh towards the monetary policy as they have been uh, regarding the market, right? They might be a little bit more lenient. They might not be raising rates as much as people were thinking due to this. That's one way he could take it. Another potential way he could take it is he could use this as an opportunity to really stamp out inflation once and for all, right? If he really wants to quell fears about inflation, he could be very harsh. He could say we're going to continue barreling down the road that we have been of being very harsh towards inflation as they have over the past couple of months. And uh, that is another way to take it. That obviously wouldn't be the best for the market in the short term. But if he really wants to stamp out inflation, that might be the way to go, right? It's going to be a tough call for him because obviously the market, if you look at the S&P over the past couple of months, since January, we've been falling quite a bit. And uh, I do believe that from the highs to the lows, let's see how far we fell down about 20%. So <laughs> it's technically market crash territory. Uh, really not good to see, right? Bear market territory. And Powell knows that, right? He knows that the market's in a very tenuous pot sitting right around 400. He knows that he's going to be the real determining factor deciding where the market goes. And uh, a lot of people are just unsure about what's going to happen now. I actually ran a poll myself on this channel. I said, has the stock market hit its lows yet? And we got some results, right? 35% of people say yes, the stock market has hit its lows. And 65% say no, we're falling much further. So it's going to be interesting to see. The next couple of days are going to be very important for determining what's going to happen with the market, right? 400, very important level. If we start making a big break to either side, that's probably, in my opinion, going to be the determining factor which way we go. And all of that really hits on what Powell says tomorrow, I believe at least, right? I think the market's probably going to be somewhat tame unless uh, some people maybe get some inside information and start trading off of that until that point when Powell actually speaks. Uh, but we'll see what happens, right? It's going to be a rocky day tomorrow, and hopefully later today we'll see some really good stuff at Sundial's earnings call. So other than that, guys, keep in mind none of this is financial advice. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you appreciate this video. And other than that, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.